I wanted to see you to apologize for all these events. I am absolutely bowled over by what has just happened. Who would have thought that Monsieur Peru would have taken his own life like that? Oh, there were a few warning signs. From having talked to him, I knew he was desperate, without guidance, disappointed with his life. Oh, really? What did he tell you? He told me to beware of you, to be honest. Of me? <laughs> Why is that? He said you were the... the devil. Well, doesn't that just take the cake? For years I've been striving to support and encourage his career, and now look at how he repays me. What a gratitude! Did he tell you why he thought that about me? You apparently charmed, flattered, and pushed him. That's not entirely untrue, but how is that a crime? By following you, he became lost, to the extent of neither being able to recognize nor bear himself. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, one more thing, please. I wanted to thank you for your support during the conference. You've made the right choice, and it gives me tremendous satisfaction to have you with me on this project. What is at stake is worth it, my lord. Now, I won't hide from you the fact that I have no idea by what miracle we could ever get a unanimous vote. Trust me, Louis. We still have a few more cards to play. You'll see. Anything can happen in politics. I'll see you later, my lord. Yes, sir. Your yes is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Good. Proceed. Yes, sir. Jacques Peru. I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Peru's room while we gather his personal effects. Monsieur Bonaparte. Yes, Louis, what do you want? Let's get to the point. I have to study our different possibilities for turning the vote in our favor. We just lost the vote for the next conference, and we already had fewer votes than Holm. I must absolutely find a solution. Excuse me, sir, but given recent events, 
I find it somewhat cavalier to return to your political preoccupations so quickly. Yes, yes, I know, you must find me inhumane. But what can I do? We are here to decide upon the fate of our nations, Louis. It is time you realize what is at stake here. I hold nothing against Monsieur Peru personally, but what concerns me most right now is to not lose sight of the objectives of this meeting. In short, we haven't a minute to lose. I'll leave you now. Just a minute. What did Duchess Hillsborough propose last night? Oh, nothing worth worrying about. The pretty little pudding eater found no better tactic than to threaten me. She would have been better off sliding into my bed. At least we wouldn't have wasted part of the night talking for nothing. Threatened you, you say? That's what I said. I think I'm going to have to be careful of English troops crisscrossing the Mediterranean for a while. The witch would let loose the wrath of the English crown on my august person. But if she thinks that would scare a Bonaparte, she is mistaken. Now, Louis, time is running short, and as I said, I'm in a hurry. I have to go now. I will see you later. Answer. Nothing. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily? Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? Duke Manuel Godoy. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis. Ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. That's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. Right? 
Damn it! It's closed. It seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. I wonder if I can get the key by pushing something underneath and making it fall. Slowly, Louis. Nice and slow. as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That's how it works, and you know it full well. I'm not that naive. I know you inside out. Stop. We'll end up losing everything if you keep on. Two coils circle the lock. Dear Gregory. All right, I've retrieved everything. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam. on earth is you mother how dare you do this to me you can talk after everything i've done for you you are joking i hope right i gave you my life that's enough emma now that louis is here you will leave sarah alone cease your revenge immediately what what if you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... what? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You pretty little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma! Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. 
Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival, You gave me something. I wasn't feeling very well, and you gave me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you even kept it. It was stained with your blood. Louis, I already told her. This is all a waste of time. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mormor welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Did we get a chance to speak? Certainly not. I was exhausted and went to bed. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's putting one over on you! Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the Golden Fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis. There's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. When you 
came to my room last night. What did we talk about? I beg your pardon, but I didn't go into your room last night. There you are. The mask is off. What do you mean? Sorry, Emma. I didn't tell you everything. She's right. You little bitch. She is manipulating you, Louis. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go. You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go. Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I- Leave us. Emily. What's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. Good God! They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Mattress. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! 
That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and logical. I know you are going to find it hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they had horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another but I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Bertrand was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis. Not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? I went beyond the Nightmare Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course! It was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me... Did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? No, I didn't. Why? Good. We'll deal with it later.
I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later! For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know.
Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to... It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis. But I had to try everything. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, the Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here.
Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement the Third Cross, the Nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the Exegesis of Judas, an Armillary Sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Remember, Mother. I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6646.
Let's see if I can work it out myself. It looks like a kind of control panel. There's a cross-shaped slot there. I'd say you've got a place to claim all the third cross in it. It looks like certain mechanisms I've seen before. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to put the claim of the third cross in it. You ought to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. What on earth is that? A disc with information engraved in the metal? An iris that should open, I imagine, and blood. Famous cross of Claymont the Third. Perfect. And one key found. A drachma. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, 
Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. That statue is not positioned correctly. Open sesame. The Ring of the Nibelungs. Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. So, I did well not to touch it. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. But that's just too bad. I need it. Caesar's laurel wreath. Hmm. If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is, it could mean... No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. Given all the relics preserved here, it wouldn't surprise me if Mortimer claimed it was Excalibur. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? 